right, and look at that. We are live, and uh, what? A little over a minute to spare. <laughs> yeah, your um, last minute as usual. Hey, I was here early this time. <laughs> I know that doesn't happen very often, but... <laughs> So everyone, welcome those of you who join the stream or watch this later. We're going to watch the Xbox E3 presser, give our reactions to the information that they give out. Uh, I'm crossing my fingers, holding my breath, all the fun stuff for the cyberpunk parts, which I would not be shocked if it's safe till the end. You still don't show a stream. Oh, look, it's me. I can see myself on screen. Yeah, um, it's still sending data through Restream. No, but, but re Restream shows it online. Oh, it just went offline. Restream seems to be having problems. <laughs> There's a lot of streaming going on right now. Yeah. All of the streaming. All of the streaming. Okay, it just came back online on Restream again. Go live. So what are we expecting? You're saying Cyberpunk. We know we're gonna hear about Scarlet. Halo. Wanna see about Halo? Oh shut up. <laughs> um Yeah, we know we're gonna hear about Elden Rising, that's sorta of looking forward to it, but I'm expecting it to be a disappointment. This is the Xbox E3 2019 briefing. Kicked up like that. Report abuse, yeah, they're making me look at Xbox. <laughs> or doesn't that count? No, I don't think that counts. No. Report abuse, there's Minecraft on my screen. Oh, we happy few. Ooh, there. Oh, are we like uh, calling out the names of all the games? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. But... That was Sea of Thieves. And there's Halo. That's Forza. Uh, okay, I'm five seconds ahead of you. Sorry. Oh, okay. It was the Halo I didn't recognize. <laughs> Yay! Ooh, spooky. Looks like a bug. Yeah, yeah, in quite a while. The model is the oldest and most efficient structure history has ever what? shown us. Scheduled scarcity is a premium feature of colonial life. The colony must never lose faith. That is what the board provides. Security in a senseless and chaotic world. This is what I think it is. This is Halcyon. The yeah. furthest colony in the galaxy. This is I want to play. Proudly owned and operated <laughs> by corporations. Everything we have. Fuck everything we this are, is a <laughs> Why can't it be both? Uh, sorry, fuck pitchfork. You know my opinion. Well, there is that. Ever gone against them. Stranger has just arrived. Someone who's challenging the corporate board. Someone who's digging up their secrets. 1023, was that a hint? No, oh, wait, that's not 23 months. Someone who could be. Oh, you. Always gotta switch around the dates. Or a hero. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. <laughs> a little place that's terrible. Please take or my gun. Psychopath. <laughs> I did some check-in, so for whatever reason, it looks like we're live on both uh, Twitch and YouTube, but not Mixer. <laughs> so... Oh, it's going well. Yeah. Awesome! Good luck! Yeah, it's the Xbox presser. I suppose time will tell, but no matter who... The Maybe because we're watching it, uh, the Xbox thing on Mixer? I don't know. We'll never no be idea. the same. Music good. Yeah. Um, can you pull in our last host? 
for a man short. If he is ready, I was going to have you do that, but let me see if I can do that. Uh, I'm doing it. Welcome from Ninja Theory, Ronnie Tucker and Dom Matthews. Waiting for Bam to turn his camera on. His mic. Yeah, his mic is real low. At E3 2018, we announced that Ninja Theory had joined Xbox Game Studios, a move that has given us an incredible boost in achieving the creative ambition of our good games. Teams. Why? We've started work on a number of new games at the studio, and in the near future, we'll be sharing details on all of these projects. When we joined Xbox Game Studios, we already had a very exciting game several years in the making, and we're happy to return to E3 to share this with you. It's a bammy. As creative director, hey. I'm stoked Boys. to be here to share our new game with you guys. <laughs> It combines two of my gaming passions, third-person so action combat and competitive I, I team multiplayer. Me, you can't see me, so that, that's how Our technical alpha is <laughs> kicking off in just a couple of weeks, and we'd love for you to sign up, get involved, and tell us what you think. Or if you're here There's at E3, come and join us for a game. I really, <laughs> I really hope you guys like oh, it. Check poor it man, out. he's confused. It's, it's bleeding edge. Bam, are you watching it? Are you watching us or are you watching it? I haven't got there yet. <laughs> So to the viewers, apologies. Yeah, G wanted to give me a hard time about being late. Ha ha ha, I'm not the worst one here. Ha 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 Yeah, we'll get into that later, but uh... <laughs> well, I... Sorry, there was a white. 4v4? Mm, all right. 4v4 is usually, uh, I find them not interesting. The character design is kind of cool. This looks like this is some kind of uh, Overwatch competitor or hopeful competitor. Oh yeah. Definitely looks like to go in com on competition with Overwatch. Yeah, it looks good. I mean, visually. <laughs> Bleeding edge, huh? Yeah. No, that was okay. That was well done. He's all died. Solange. I don't have my own beer. <laughs> How dare you, sir? <laughs> you can't hear me, can you? Oh, you can hear barely, me. Bam. We can barely hear you. Barely hear me. Oh, You're super quiet. I don't know why that is. I don't know why that is. You must have all the headsets. Um, <clears throat> there's some horrible feedback from one of you guys, and I don't want to uh, interfere with the uh, stuff that I've got here. This looks uh, cute and creepy all at the same time. No, mostly creepy. I'm, I'm, I'm on creepy with this one. Well, but you got the little glowy Stitch character that's kind of cute. The whole spidery thing is creepy. Bam, if you need to, you can mute us individually and see which one has feedback for you. It's you, G. Me? Yes. I gotta say, I'm digging the art design of this, though. <laughs> G, send him the link. <coughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Get Already. your mic closer to the face. I can get my mouth closer to the thing like that. Yeah, that's that. We can actually hear you that time. <laughs> well, I've got a, I've got grey glasses, grey top, and a grey screen, so. That's okay. I, I've got gray too. Right? Yeah, I got I got some in here. Some white and gray. Uh, I haven't got there yet. I haven't got there. Yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Give give it a couple more years. 
<laughs> my pants on though. Right, so what about now? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Uh, a little better. A little better, yeah. How better is that? Much better. Much better. All right. Well, there we go. So here we got a Minecrafty. Uh, what is this going to be? Their adventure. This is Minecraft. Yeah. I'll be looking forward to playing this with my kiddo, and now I can play it in VR. So that means the person. Nope. The person there. That's Bam. Bam's in the middle. Yeah, but I'm. I'm yeah, I think I, I aimed at Bam. No. Just for anybody watching. I gotta say. This is kind of what I've been waiting for out of Minecraft, except I wasn't expecting a Diablo-type uh, game. I was expecting more first-person. I like it, though. I like it. Minecraft-style Diablo. Dungeoneer. Mm. Oh, no, definitely not. Not happens. No. No. Come on, Bam. This looks fun. Dude, it's a Minecraft Skyrim. For no. No, no, no. It's not a Minecraft Skyrim. It's a Minecraft Diablo. Yeah. No. Yes. No, no, no. Yes. Don't, don't, don't sully. Don't sully Diablo. <laughs> I'm not. They are. <laughs> oh, it's a year away. Huh? Yeah. Four player, Four player local. Yeah, I like that. No. Yeah. What that it doesn't come to PlayStation? No, that probably will be Xbox, yeah. Please welcome the head of Xbox, Phil Ooh, Spencer. Ooh, it's Philly boy. Mr. Philly Spencer. <laughs> he always looks like he doesn't want to be there. But why am I watching oh. here? Why am I standing here? Hi. Hi, everybody. I would be uncomfortable as all hell standing in front of a, a stadium full of people like that. And the 250,000 people Thank watching you. it. Yeah, right? Thank you. We on Team Xbox live for this Xbox. exact moment. Yeah, I'm sure you do. You live for E3, do you? Right. The moment we get to share the best of our art form here with you in L.A. And the moment you get to experience... There's more people watching stories, this right now. New the world, be at E3. New heroes, for the yeah. very first time. Well, physical space is limited, but bandwidth, not as much. <laughs> it's about discovering your new games. Yeah. This decisive yeah. moment Games come is still bigger than this. In your gaming history. <laughs> Alongside your every achievement. You're like this kid who just won't let it go. <laughs> nah, nah, my thing is better. <laughs> my daddy can be your daddy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Unleashing the next new games for you to discover ah, and love. Them. I have been. So whether you're one turn of them off. With us here in Microsoft Theater, They're all starting to annoy me. Oh, poor Bam. Weiner. Or one of the billions around the Wino? world who play games. <laughs> Weiner. <laughs> he didn't bring his alcohol. He can't be a wino. <laughs> oh. This right now <laughs> is the single most creative and energizing time in gaming history. Games and sucks. gamers together <laughs> now have the sheer magnitude to be a significant unifying force for the world. The expanding oh, universe. This is how they're going to make these in the Middle East. New era <laughs> of creative Xbox. possibility with more games, more creators. And more industry players than somehow think that would cause more problems than it would solve. <laughs> yeah, definitely would. Definitely would. Decades, definitely would. The number of players in the world has more than tripled. Over two billion of us now play games in every region and on every continent. And with new technology, on Antarctica? we get to play whatever we want. A with dozen scientists. <laughs> Well, there is a Steam account in North Korea. On Team Xbox, every decision is guided by our belief that gaming is for everyone. I agree there. My team and That's I why are they have exclusive deals in our resolve. Yeah. To bring everyone the games they want. On Xbox. Connect everyone to play <laughs> with the friends they want. On Xbox. And to empower everyone to play wherever they want. On Xbox. <laughs> so, so hang on, hang on, hang on. 
They want to play with everyone and give everyone games, right? But but what about cross-platform play? No, they have been doing some of that, and you can... Some of it. Yeah. And, and the uh, Xbox app works across both the Xbox platform and uh, PC, so at least there's that. Gaming is for you. This is why we scour the world for your next new games. This today is the largest showcase of games on any stage, anywhere, this year. <laughs> he hasn't even seen any of the other ones. Nope. But it's the biggest one so far. <laughs> yeah. Thousands of games in development across Xbox One and Windows PC were highlighting 60 games for you. 60? Holy crap. Including 14 games from Xbox Game Studios and over 30 games premiering in Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, I don't like subscription deals like that. In addition to show I'm not fond of them, but I understand why they do it. Only oh, 30, so yeah. What's next? Only 10,000. They've scoured the world for games and they've only got 30. Sharing right. our expansive <laughs> plans for streaming. Base cloud. And it's, it's a contradiction in... Revealing more yeah, about okay. our next new console. Let's be nice to poor boy. So thank you for joining us today. Let's jump in. It's like Nike. I was gonna say, just do it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. More Star Wars. It's a bad robot. It's not. It's Star Wars. You missed yesterday. Bad robot, bro. Yeah, he does look like Bad Robot's logo. Mm -hmm. Ready to do this? Yeah. Hell yeah. He doesn't even know that you're supposed to fly around him instead. Hell yeah. <laughs> I did not think he would be that agile. Got a name? Well, I think this is when he's younger, so. Okay. I'm here on Jedi business. It's just Witchek climbing things. I don't buy it. Not all of them. Are they gonna show the uh, slow timey pull him into his own shot? <laughs> oh, that one was ridiculous. It was painful. But it was cool. I'm not saying that. It's a lightsaber-proof bug. Yeah. We have to stop them. Isn't that play. the robot that was really annoying in that movie? The Jedi are not yet lost. Okay, Bam. Do you see it? It's Ratchet and Clank. Lost. <laughs> you know. You know, I was thinking that looks very familiar to me. That sort of cute little sidekick, yeah, it's sort Ratchet of comic Clank. relief to it, and then you got the serious sort of action. It yeah. is a bit like Ratchet and Clank, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. You all right? No, you're not doing that again. <laughs> yeah, definitely looking forward to that one. Fifteenth mm -hmm. month of this year. Okay, gotcha. Oh, <gasps> world premiere. Do I break it by doing that too early? <laughs> it's a spooky boy thing. Bam, you like this. What the... Wait, there's something chasing you into a cabin. Why do you take out a camera and start looking at home videos? I don't think he was trying to look at the home video. I think he was trying to film it. Maybe using the low light function of the camera. I don't think so. That doesn't make sense. Okay, bullet. Let's find this kid. The dog needs more work. Wait up, bullet. Bullet. Can you pet the dog? That's all that matters. Nah, too rigid. Ooh. No. Jerrica, sorry, um, one of BBC's journalists is also pointing out, yeah, it's the biggest amount of games showcased anywhere this year, because Sony isn't here. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yeah. And it's just, if you remember when they announced the Xbox and... Uh, there, that's why he's using the camera. The camera has a low light function that was letting him see stuff that he wasn't seeing yet. Okay, boy. Okay. Find this kid. So when they announced the uh, Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, 
there was like what a day between two days between a week a week between and xbox came out and said, oh we're doing all these things and then Which sony yeah. just afterwards went yeah we're not doing all the stupid things microsoft are doing and people love them for it <laughs> yeah. i thought that was the blair witch symbol yeah i said witcher but i was thinking Blair Witch. yeah yeah nah i i, I think the, the game has gotten a little bit uh like right, right, timing right, on right, it. Right, right, right. Drag, shut up. Let's watch this. <laughs> I'm kind. I'm, I'm kind of wanting to play this game. Kind of want to play this game. I'm kind of want. To. Kind of? No, I am playing kind this of. game. Kind of want to. And it better be cross-platform with PC to PlayStation. I swear to God, it better be. Better be. So I kick your ass. I mean, play with you. <clears throat> you might try, but it's only going to be single-player to start. Yeah, I know. Their faces are broken. Be my man. You made it. You blowing up all over the news. Are you alone? I just want the money. You got the chip? All right. Start her up, bug. Why don't you go to the bathroom, wash up, we gonna be with you in a minute. Oh, come on, man. Your neck. It's a mess. While hotel security has yet to comment, we do know the suspect seems to have fled the scene. So we look switch for that arm. That boy's about to die. <laughs> that is exquisite, that. Initiating combat mode. Go! Destination confirmed. That's what I'm talking about. All right, in and out. We're rich. Oh, we are going to the major leagues, Jackie. Right. Jackie. Oh, oh sh he's broken. No, 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 no. Okay, get to a clinic now. Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Go. Immediate medical help is okay. required. Just, just hold on. Just, hey, hey, just think about all the good that we're gonna have, huh? I'm sorry. Oh, he's crispy. Yeah, that's kind of strange they gave that away. I would have expected they would have held back on uh, Jackie going toast. Maybe he's not. No, he's toast. Cop in this city is gonna be blasting down these doors after what you and your psycho friend did. We didn't need all this tension, damn it. Oh, uh, it looks like this might just be one possible thing. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh man, I want that game. Oh yeah. Oh man, give me some of that. Been excited? I'm, I'm starting to get a bit excited about it, but that's the scary thing. Once you start getting excited about a game and get on the hype train, there is we no stopping. Stop samurai. We have a city to burn. That's cute. Hey, no way. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> How do we know that? Because it's been leaked. Oh, I didn't see that leak. I missed it. Oh. Hell yeah. Please welcome Keanu Reeves. Of course they're cashing in on the biggest action star at the minute, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Why the hell not? No, no, they have to to start the game and fair play to them. But I mean, those visuals, I mean, no CD Projekt Red's capability. I like I like his suit. That's a very nice suit. That. Mm. Yeah. He's always in tease. Fair play to him. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right. 
he's enjoying it a bit. Okay. I gotta talk to you about something. Oh, God. <laughs> this is this is this is the the have you got you ain't got a soft phone moment, bro. CD Project Red. <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077. Damn right. All right. A while back, the guys from CD Projekt Red approached me and asked me to be a part of their new project, Cyberpunk 2077. He does a lot of this sort of cyberpunk stuff. They were going stuff. on and, and on about. Oh, remember Johnny Mnemonic? It was a phenomenal movie. Oh, that's a cracking film. Line. Great film. How you'd be it able to is. customize your character to the game uh, holds up still. It it's does. not something I knew before, but I was excited by. And I'm always drawn to fascinating stories. Yeah. Cyberpunk <laughs> is set in a metropolis of the future, where body modification has become an obsession. You play as an outlaw, an enhanced mercenary working in the sleazy underbelly of the city. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but let me tell you. The feeling of, of being there, of walking the streets of the future, is really going to be breathtaking. Me! So, <laughs> you're breathtaking. And a car for you, and a car for you, and a car for you. Yeah, right? right, right so yeah. I got I to finish this, so tell me. Do you guys want to know um, when the game when comes out? Uh, when it, the release date? <laughs> no. Next year, PS5. Come on. Yeah. No, it, it's already been to, uh, announced for PS4. Well, kind of leaked. Not really leaked, but announced-ish. Billboard. Whoa, hey, easy. Mr. Hansen, am I right for the job? Okay, I'm in. I want to see this game with some ray tracing. You have gone through to the other side. You'll get it. Probably show up soon. Get it. Careful. You'll get it. I know. I'm gonna have to buy a new video card. What did I say? 2020. I was only a couple months off. <laughs> I was. I was thinking it was gonna be September or November, but I even revised that uh, when they put up the posters this weekend that it could be spring or summer. World premiere. So. Oh, come on. April. You can do that. Yeah. I can spend the entire month playing Cyberpunk before my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> or you can make the birthday present so we don't get it until your birthday. No. That's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, poor Mr. I need the game now. I don't need it now. I need it when it's ready. And apparently it's ready in April. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. This looks like something for you, G. Oh, this seems very, um... I like the visuals, they're very clean. Pokemonish, this really. <laughs> a 2D Pokemon? Mm. No, this looks like a travel sim. Yeah, this is definitely a G game. Adios. <laughs> oh, goodbye, wrong language, <laughs> They didn't say in what language I had to say goodbye. A Fiederson! Chat is still going on about Yano. That was a pretty big deal. No, look, it makes sense for them to cash in on the biggest action star. Um, Go, yeah, nice. that really does for me. So that, that's a clever shot for them, I think. Clever shouts. Clever, clever shouts. That looked nice. Oh, Spirit Fairer. Yeah. yeah. I, they... I had a feeling. I had a feeling. <laughs> it's about time. This isn't one of them incident pranks, is it? No. Jeez. <laughs> Battle Toads, man. That was a cracking game. I remember playing that. Battle yet. I'll buy this. Nostalgia purpose is only. I'll buy this. Oh, Mr. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a co-op, hallelujah. 
Mr. Uh, Nintendo's all just about nostalgia, but wait, I'll buy this just for nostalgia. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> this reminds me of the old Ninja Turtles game. Which, yeah. I know, it's the style is like very similar, and so was Battletoads, but... I like the old Ninja Turtle game. That was a brilliant game, that was. It's about time Battletoads finally came out. I think the meme finally did something. This is sounding like Nintendo. Hey, he just modded in a chest in his own game. <laughs> My daughter can pay this. No thanks. That's, that's not even a bad game. Not my style, sorry. Not for me. Indie though, I like it. That's good. It's making me think of a Polish game, but that's not it. Yeah, I mean, this isn't necessarily something for me either, but I do like that we're getting to see all kinds of, like, styles of games that you might never have even well, thought of before. Think about that game, get the exposure. I love this one. The whole style in it. Well, they're going multiple games now. Hmm. Well, they gotta get through 60, so. <laughs> yeah, I know. The so they're, they're, now so they're just flying through it. It's Power Renegades, it's the whole nostalgia trip. Yep, I'll be getting that. Oh, launching an Xbox Game Bash. It's starting to sound like you buy games based on nostalgia, Bam. Yeah, but at least I know this is a harmful trend. Right? <laughs> <coughs> it's good to see these games getting the exposure they need in the sort of crowd that would normally get them. It's good to see. You know, indie and uh, like retro has been getting bigger and bigger, so that's good. Yeah. I was watching something earlier. There we go. <laughs> yes, there we go. Felix Reba, try that one. That is. Uh, no, thanks. It's different, but it's good. Different? <laughs> he says it's the guy spinning his own head around. <laughs> he doesn't need it. Living cop game? Uh, now, I love see, this, no this is where um, Thea 2 should be. Thea 2 should be in this. Ah. Some of, them, some of the indie developers that we've spoken to should be on this because their games are just that good and worthy of this sort of uh, these sort of eyes, you know. Am I the only one who reads that as idiot box? <laughs> uh, yeah. Please welcome head of Xbox partnerships, Sarah Bond. Bond, Sarah Bond. <laughs> Latest to thrill. Relations, yeah. Name it. All the idea at Xbox games you just saw will premiere on Xbox okay. Game Pass. I'll tell you one thing about this, uh, Sarah. She's not a geek. Do you know why? Why? The shoes at she's Xbox, wearing. Who the hell wants to go to a gaming convention in high heels like that? that you love. Ah, creation, it's business expectations. Ah, bad, that, that. It's a boss somewhere. Bill can wear trainers, and if Kiana can wear trainers, then she can wear trainers. Here's the thing, dude. You're, you're totally missing something. Well, these, these are just her stage shoes, man. She's got tennis shoes in back to change into. Discover your next favorite game. Mind-blowing experiences, epic adventures, and iconic characters, all for you. That was me uh, refilling my cider. It has been awesome to see the record-breaking success developed had in Xbox Game Pass. Like I said, Solange. Introducing your games to new players and creating lifelong fans. Since launch, we have tripled the number of partners in Game Pass. Right, right, right. That, that's annoying me. I'm going to go get something to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
puzzles, and more every and just because month. it's drag, look, and of metallic course, straw. We're every thinking about Xbox the um, Game Studios environment. You see today will premiere in Game Pass day. I don't one. know why I get pointed out for that, but sure. It's California, mate. <laughs> we are thrilled to announce new titles coming to Xbox Game Pass on console today, including Batman Ooh. Arkham Knight. Ooh. Metro Exodus, drag. <laughs> Hollow Knight, and Borderlands yeah. The Handsome Collection. I got that on my PlayStation, apparently. Amazing games that you can start playing today. Our mission at Xbox is for you to be able to play any game with anyone, as long as on anywhere. Xbox. And we know for many of or you... PC. PC. That is why <laughs> last month we announced Xbox Game Pass for Yay. PC. Again, no. Utomi, this is worth it. <laughs> Today, the Game Pass journey on PC begins. Now, PC players can discover their next favorite game with Xbox Game Pass. We have curated over 100 games See? just for PC, including the 10 of what Atomic like has. Emperor Rome and Football Manager 2019. Emperor, wasn't it Imperator? And for the first I don't know. Time on I'm PC, probably saying it wrong. Starting with Halo Reach, the entire Imperator. Master Chief Collection. Yeah, yeah. When do I get that? Well, as soon as it launches. Woo! We are thrilled to share that Xbox Game Pass for PC launches in open so, beta track, today. There you go. Go play your Halo. Ooh. Open beta today, huh? Whatever you're ready. Yeah. You can play as that Halo guy. And I can hear Drac just hammering away at the keyboard trying to buy it. <laughs> no, 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 I'm making notes for the news block later. Okay, because I'm just saying, um, Game Pass was $1 earlier today. Well, I'm not looking to do the Game Pass, I just want to get a hold of the uh, Master Chief Collection. See, if I was getting the Master Chief Collection, I would get a um, physical copy with the whole thing. Something with the little things you put on the shelf. No, I want uh, I want it through Steam because it's it is listed on Steam. Yeah, nah. Well, Steam. I didn't say for you. I said for me. <laughs> yeah, I know, sir. Nine ninety nine a month subscription to play Halo. Xbox Game Pass for PC is here now. Try it out by downloading the all new Xbox app on Windows. And if you want it all, we have created a membership what? just for you. Xbox yeah, Game you Pass already announced this. Ultimate. You get everything. Xbox Game Pass for console with over 100 great games. Xbox Live Gold, an unrivaled gaming community. And now, Xbox Game Pass for PC at no So the only thing they added here is the Game Pass for PC is part of the open box. It feels like they're worried about uh, Stadia. It feels very much aimed at Stadia. Well, they are starting up their streaming service. Everyone can jump oh, yeah. in and play today See, one for one dollar. Now go discover I don't have any dollars, so it can't. World premiere. <laughs> Bam just left a white wall. Yeah. No, it's this way. Is he that way? It's this way. For me. <laughs> okay, for me it's that way. Yeah. I know, he's in the middle, so he's between the two of us, so we're both right. <laughs> no, you're left. You're, he's left and you're further left. <laughs> And if you don't believe me, I'm to your right. Stage right? Mm -hmm, there's an exit. 
Oh, this is uh, one of their flight simulator games. Okay. Microsoft Flight Sim? Yeah. There's a couple of places that I want to visit. I'll use Google Earth. <laughs> I was checking that out last night, actually, on the uh, VR headset I have. Yeah. There are some places that they've got, like, fully 3D kind of render almost to them. Even my own neighborhood. It was kind of cool. Um, I know a few people who don't need the headset because they built cockpits. Or they repurposed um, cockpits they bought. Oh. Um, screens for the windows and shit. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that would be kind of the fun part about this game. I'm not really into, like, flight sims. I, when I was younger, I did get into, like, the combat flight sims for a short period of time. But, uh, yeah, just flying... I guess if you're, like, sightseeing areas and it looks real enough, that could be cool. But uh, the cockpit thing, that people do that for Kerbal Space Program. Oh, really? Goes, yeah. That's fucking awesome, but... Wah. Beyond me. Beyond me. Right, I'm back. Do you remember a time... What is it we're supposed to remember now? When armies were built and, and powerful cities collapsed. <laughs> when the smallest what? choices <laughs> echoed through the pages of history. It was an age <sighs> of empire. Definitive edition. Is this the third one, the fourth one they're launching? I think oh, it's wow. like the fifth. It's a remaster of the a remaster. remaster. <laughs> Oh, it's in 4K now. I think it's at least the third one they release of this specific is been part two. It's actually watching somebody stream Age of Empires the other day. It was very weird. Wife. Hello. This is too late. She can't hear you. But even because I had you here. That's why I waved so that you could pass the message on. I see you are a donkey's <laughs> age. Welcome to beautiful yeah. Colorado. Home to the Purple Mountains Master G. Master G? <laughs> That's going to be me later after a few more bottles of cider. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you did on the last day of recording with this. Yeah, right? Yeah, I got a little numb tongued. Eat where the locos eat. Visit Colorado Springs. Spider tank. There's so much to see and do in this post-apocalyptic winter wonderland. I don't want to go to Colorado. <laughs> yeah, not if it looks like that. Make new no, also the way it looks now. Colorado has colorful characters and friendly faces uh, everywhere you look. See our beautiful airport. And don't forget to pick yourself up a nifty souvenir. So don't be shy. I don't know if you guys remember that post-apocalyptic game Dustwind that we played a little bit of, or I played a little bit of anyway, but the gameplay of this looks similar. Yeah, it's yeah, the same, it does. same idea. Oh, nobody stand up. My god. Please welcome. Head oh. Xbox some, of the, some of the seats are empty as well. Yeah. yeah. Not a lot. Oh, it's that guy that I didn't hear the name of. Look. Games are gay. Part of our <laughs> Over the last year, we asked When he said gay, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Some of these studios already sharing new games on our E3 stage. This is the guy they need to bring out when they have uh, Sea of Thieves announcements. <laughs> Great studios are about people, teams, and ideas. Our success comes down to one thing, creating great games that players love. And great games come from great developers. Yeah, so about great developers are Tom Crunch. I'm honored today to and under, underpaid. that joining Xbox sure. Studios yeah. is... They're bringing us down. Double Fine Productions. Double Fine Games. Hey. Does that make them double fine squared now? A beacon of creativity and spirit in game development. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal legend oh, funny, and broken age. 
I'm looking forward. I entertain myself. Oh, it's really not funny, Drew. <laughs> Well, at least you're enjo uh, entertaining somebody. Yeah, there's that. Productions, Tim Schafer. He's always funny. Rocky music. I want to see him drunk. So who's this guy? Tim Schafer, president of Double Fine. Okay. Hello. I know that. Thank you. Thank you so much, and thank you, Matt. We are so excited to be joining Thank you, Matt. Now you can studios. leave. <laughs> and I'm here to personally reassure you, Matt. I don't know what you've heard, but I'm a team player. Whatever you need from Double Fine, we'll make for you. Uh, Halo stuff, uh, Forza stuff, Excel stuff. Whatever you want, we are there. Excel. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Did he just reveal EVE Online for PC? <laughs> I, think he, I think he did. EVE Online oh, for Xbox, yes. <laughs> In that case, we brought a brand new trailer for Psychonauts 2. Take a look if you... I wouldn't have guessed Psychonauts, you know, with the shirt and all. Partially covered. My name is Raz. And today is my first official day on the job. We're on a mission. Rasputin? I'm on him. Looking for me? Have you guys played either one of the- or uh, either one of you played no. Psychonauts? Yeah, I haven't played it either. Sir. See, I'm enjoying my pilot's day gift. Chocolate. Ah, me, the mission is I have, uh, We've lost control of Honey Nut Cheerios to snack on. <laughs> Cheerios, Cheerios. Yeah, there you go. I won't tell anyone. I promise. No, please. I mean, it looks insane enough, this thing. World premiere. Cute game. Is this gonna be for Star Wars Battlefield or what are we? Lego. Oh, Lego. Yeah. I, I won't lie. I've played a few Lego games, right? I quite like them. They're they're nice. They are cute and fun. Mm. Basically, they just added them all together. Right. Yeah. What the? That's a new droid. Oh, it's basically uh, Lego Dallas in space. No. Yeah, it's a Skywalker side. No, no, no. It's it's Lego in space. That's it. Yeah, but it's the Dallas family, right? right? Remember that old show? Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's uh, what's his name? Goku, Dragon Goku. Ball Z. They're making a big comeback to Dragon Ball. You know that? It's over nine thousand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dragon Balls. If they don't say the over nine thousand in this before the end, it's a fail. This is this is a fighting game, isn't it? Though. Yeah, I think so. As far as I can tell, it's a screaming game. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> You saw the pictures I tweeted earlier. Um, the local food jungle has all sorts of cartoons with these people on the walls. Freezer. <laughs> Is he cold? Mm. It'd be really weird if anybody speaks Dutch. Dragon Ball projects. Kakarot. Uh, Second. Eh, eh. It's different. World premiere. 
This is going to be a long trailer. <laughs> Senor Literal. Surprise for you. Okay. Hmm. You no. want to guess what it is? Hmm. Find out by this opening the box. For a newborn. Don't have to guess. Just you open the box morning. and you find it. You wanted to surprise. What's me. in the box? Sorry, you're pregnant. <laughs> you know? I know because I'm pregnant. You gave it to me. This is happening. <laughs> What are you talking about? What's going on? Someone is coming. He's going to hurt us. He says you killed your father. I need to know what happened. Why are you doing this? My father died, died of a heart attack? No, oh, I, 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 I didn't have anything to do with... Any second okay. now, he's going to knock on that door. A little bit creepy. This isn't happening. This can't be happening. Police, open up. That's him. Did you call the police? We have a warrant. Please open the door. I didn't do anything. We're here to help. Don't listen to him. I'm your only chance. Open the door right now. You know me. I love you. You have to believe me. Stop. No. You're under arrest. No. Hey. <laughs> Looks like a hitman thing. Except. Looks like a uh, groundhog thing. Well, that too. You're home. What are you doing? Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, but it's just the whole bald guy in a suit thing makes me think Hitman. <laughs> yeah, but... Eh, get, it'll get boring quickly, I suppose. <laughs> you playing the same 12 minutes repeating? Mm, yeah. Dave and Ted was a great film. I think it's sort of mediocre, but never mind. We have some uh, devs on that have an upcoming game that has the same idea. That you play the same few minutes repeatedly until you solve it. There's another trouble zone. All of the lights will guide you home. That is one big cat. Mm, yeah. That is a very magical reindeer. Oh. Yeah. So if you can magic things to work, why wouldn't you just magic things out of that machine instead of pounding it? Maybe you can't magic no, everything. Like... That looks it looks cute. It's a different take on the whole um, journey game. This though. Do you guys know what this is yet? <laughs> you should by now. Yes. Yeah. So if they didn't the announce Gears of War, right? This would have been a bit of a fail. No, we already knew Gears of War Five info was coming. It deserves a bit. A bit of a bigger announcement, to be honest. We haven't seen the whole announcement yet. Come on, it's just another shooter. Why no. care? No, Gears of War, the first and second one were fucking great. I don't, I don't care for the movement mechanics in them, but beyond that, they're fun games. 
Nah, Gears of War with that Xbox controller is very intuitive. I That's really your problem. You're really playing with a stupid controller instead of a mouse nah, and a keyboard. Nah, 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 nah. I'm sorry, folks. I'm yeah, still, I'm, I'm still working on uh, training Bam to be a better PC master racer. No, 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 no. I'm still training you how to use a controller. <laughs> use a controller with this game is brilliant. <laughs> I the first to play two. games I could, I could take or leave the third. Welcome, one. studio head Rod Ferguson. Thanks everyone. We're excited to announce that Gears 5 is releasing on September 10th. I should might have to buy an Xbox to play that game. <gasps> or play it on PC. No, I'm not playing it on PC, dude. Our ultimate edition membership in the newly announced Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. That's a oh. If you have a PC, play it on PC. Four, we wanted to earn your trust. But with Gears 5, we want to push the envelope by doing new Not things just never seen in the Gears game before. Yeah. And we'll tell you all about <coughs> this. In July, join us for our Versus Multiplayer Tech Test, where you'll be one of the first to play our all-new competitive game type, Arcade. In August, at Gamescom, go hands-on with a bit the all-new Horde mode and see how characters He's this is a couple of times. on the battlefield. In September, we return to the biggest Gears campaign ever, where we'll explore more of Kate's harrowing journey and celebrate our launch on September More reason 10th. to get that ultimate pack. But what are we talking about today? Today, it's a brand new way to fight the swarm. In Escape, you play as one of three hive busters. You and your squad infiltrate the hive, plant the bomb, and escape with your life. Because we all know that best defense is a good offense. It's everything you love about Gears turned up. To 11. Was there other game modes? Because I only ever played the story campaign in Gears in the, the other Gears games. Online. It was an online multiplayer version, uh, sort of team death match. That stage looks very really safe to stand up. Are they sitting far to the stage? More or less. Well, they're doing something. Yeah, this is practical for the people sitting upstairs. Yeah, they can see it. They can see the screen. Yeah, but why would you be there to watch the screen? Depends on how far back you are. Because <laughs> if you're far enough back, that's all you're watching anyway. <laughs> uh, I unfortunately know that feeling. So you can sit in this room, look at the screen of a recording downstairs under the stage of a screen. Yeah. This might look like a surrender, but it's not. It's an invasion. That looked uncomfortable. Mm, yeah. That holographic display looks excessive for a bomb. I mean, have you seen the armor they're wearing? You're worried about a little holographic display? No, but it's just why would you put that on a bomb? Oh, I want this game, dude. Oh, give me some of that action. This is a CGI trailer, you're not seeing gameplay. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I can imagine the gameplay is going to be absolutely hair-raising. <laughs> no, the gameplay should be fun. It's going to be a shooter. It's not boring. You do raise a good point. This is not actual in-game footage. So yeah, this is just a trailer. But yeah. I will say this, this is better choice of music than Mortal Kombat was last year. Yeah. Or the, during the Game Awards, anyway. Oh, look, it's Raiden from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it's almost like I knew.
So the brew of a bomb that literally chases them out and wants to kill us. Yeah, it was some kind of it makes sense. some kind of chemical weapon. Yeah. It's just a game mode, it's the actual game. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I want that game now. If you have a PC, all you need is the I game. Hope you enjoyed your taste of escape. An aggressive three player co op experience. Bam, you can rent it for 15 pounds a month. But it's not just yeah, about no, busting hives. You can build them too. But it's and just right well, behind what we are create. looking. And tonight, join me on Mixer as we challenge these three WWE superstars Xavier Woods, AJ Styles, and Honor Breeze. <laughs> nice. To survive a gameplay deep dive from right here in the hive. For these at home, for the next two days, you and your friends can play in select Microsoft stores. <laughs> so good luck out running no the stores, and we'll see you on the leaderboard. No, we're going to be like um, game stores and stuff. within the first week, we've got something special. No, it's like the Apple store, but it's a Microsoft store. Yeah. They, they have one in Fashion Valley up here in uh, San Diego, but I don't know if it'll be one of their select ones or not. Yeah, I know that's um, meh. I'll wait for it to come out. I can wait. No, you can't. Yes, I can. You'll be whining regularly. If I can wait for Cyberpunk, I can wait for this. You can't wait for Cyberpunk. I can and I can't. It's a constant battle I within myself. I said wait until it's your birthday. Make it a birthday. Ah, uh, Terminator. Yeah, but why would I wait till my birthday? When it's out a month before that. I can wait for it to come out, but why should I wait after it comes out to play it? It drops in price. <laughs> Just... Yeah, not not one month later on a game like that. Oh, boy, for Anthem and Fallout. <laughs> yeah. Let's compare it to completely different types of games. Now, more elite controller. Okay. The most detailed controller. Oh, it's got those. Nice. Yeah. The ones at the does bottom. It has the MOT band. It does. Ah, now you can adjust your uh, your controller like you can tweak your car. You see? You see? Then you don't have to take your thumb off the thumb the the, the controller stick to change um, to re you know change gun or whatever have you? <coughs> you just I'm press. It's it's Apex. Honestly, it is. Yeah. Three different profiles, huh? Yeah, you can play three games. Other controllers can play one game. This one can play three. No, if you think about it, though, you can have three different types of layouts, and you just set up that layout for each game, yeah, whichever works best. For charge, that's that's going to be um, a nice thing to have, but you know, we all know it's not going to last forever. No, this is cool. This is some nice innovation. It shouldn't be um, a detachable charge. It should be a, a solid kit because what's going to happen is you're going to sell them with D batteries or whatever have you first. And they're going to sell the charge pack separate at a max, massive sort of price. It's actually the battery packs I hate most about my Xbox controllers. Dying light. You think? Now, now, no, this is My father light. saved my life. He told me never to forget who I'm I am. I'm most impressed this is where new. I come from. But in this place, nobody even wants to know my name. Getting attached. Because the presentation we got was just, oh, I felt terrible. Oh. That game is so much fun to play. Because when darkness comes, parkour zombie killer, dude. Yep. What's not, not to like? I might get dying light too. Might. You should. We can play. <laughs> the virus. No, it's not cross platform, mate. But I won't let it turn. Last off. Get it on your freaking Windows PC. <laughs> no. You can play with a controller if you want to, and uh, I'll still just rack up the kills better than you anyway. <laughs> You can try. Yeah, while you're playing with your controller, it will be no problem. Every day, the disease tries to crush us and make us forget who we are. But the gauntlet I'm is down. Be worth it. Now you have to get it on your PC and play with me. My name is Aiden, and I am infected. Yeah. I should have been wearing my Dying Light 2 shirt. You have one. Yeah, and a bag. I'm a little jelly. This is it. Last August, went to see it, got the presentation, but We're you didn't want to join here. 
Hmm. Mm, there's a difference between want and able to. No, really not. Yeah, I didn't have the funds to come over there and join you for that at the time. Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> but not necessarily a wallet. <laughs> oh, we could have rented you out. Oh, that sounds great. What's that, uh, across the farm fields of Ireland? <laughs> what the hell? Lego and Forza 4 now. Yeah. Now, now I want to play. Now I'm okay with playing it. Forza 4 Lego, actually, that's not a bad... <laughs> Actually, 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 now, 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 yeah, let's do it. Imagine oh, no, the crashes. Give, give it, give it, it's just bits. Give it the Lego treatment. Oh, looks like they have. <laughs> Insta win. Yeah, but can you get bright neon green bricks? Yes. Okay, um... This looks cool. We can see. Yeah. And three steering wheels. See, this is why Fours is taken as a joke, and why Grand Turismo is not still. But never mind. So what? It's awesome. But Forza, <laughs> I'm sorry, I know Grand Turismo is visually awesome. But no, this is looks good. This is this is good. Man. Oh yeah. Just to drive a Lego McLaren, yes please. <laughs> Oh god, yeah, definitely for my daughter that. Ralph Bolton. Ooh, nice. I wonder how many bricks that takes. <laughs> More than the Castle Grace Skull I got coming to me. For design, with about half a Is it coming? Will it arrive? Bricks. Yeah, that's a question for GameStop. So that took half Lego a million bricks. Champions, McLaren yeah. Combine the beauty and freedom of Horizon with the playful fun of LEGO, you get the Forza Horizon 4 <laughs> LEGO Speed Champions expansion. More importantly, how long did it take to build? LEGO Speed Champions cars oh, an ungodly amount of time. New world, packed with inventive every so often LEGO puts out a request for people who want to, want the job of just building shit for them. The Forza Horizon 4 LEGO I think they're overdoing with LEGO a bit, but never mind. Launches this week. I'll see you there. Yeah, but the piano amount was just right. Is it going to be Lego, um... No, now it's Funko. Yeah. God. Here's Pop. So, which one is it? This is not the Gears of War, it's the other one. Yeah, this is still this is still Gears, Gears of War. This is still Gears of War, okay. I just remember there's four, three or four shooters. You like this kind of game, right? Nah. I think that's a mobile thing anyway. Um, I don't do too much mobile. Yeah. But you have a phone. Don't you have a phone? <laughs> you ain't got a phone, bro? <laughs> <sighs> this is quite boring, boys. I'm sorry. Yeah? State of Decay 2. Still haven't finished that. Ha! <laughs> Jolly says to calm down, we're looking too excited. <laughs> Does he really? Yeah. Jolly, you could be right up for... Uh, no, actually, you'd probably find be right there. Never... Yeah. My mission, find a hero I've never met. He hasn't radioed in days. He hasn't been seen since the outbreak. The last time I heard his voice. The last place he was seen... ...was in Trumbull Valley. Valley. What's with the glowing eyes? I've only heard whispers. I've only heard legend. Of unseen horrors. Here, we are the many. Here, we can become stronger. For so long, I was just surviving. Now people are counting on me. 
This is where my story could end. This is where my story could begin. I thought we had seen everything. For some reason, the chat shows is blank on my end. We ain't seen nothing yet. Feeding the face, going to dinner, and a show. <laughs> uh, Brought the dinner, waiting for Xbox to give the show. <laughs> oh, come on. Look at what we have. The hair. <laughs> you go see the show, Jolly. <laughs> be more entertaining than this. No, he says he's waiting for Xbox to bring the show. Oh, right. We so are the show. Cyberpunk was the extent of the excitement for me. Cyberpunk <laughs> was the extent of for me so far. I'm actually shocked they didn't save that for last. I really expected that to be the last thing in their show. Was this gonna be a Final Fantasy thing then? It is Final Fantasy. It's gotta be. Nope. Well, I was going to say, watch, it won't be Final Fantasy, and that'll show how much I know about JRPGs. Yeah. I mean, there's a few I know by name, but I don't recognize this, no. It looks neat, though. I'd watch an, uh, a CGI animated movie of this. I'm looking at the chat more than the video, and the chat is just all over the place. Oh! Is that World of Warships that's all there? Oh, no, never mind. GTA 6? No, this is not Rambo at all. It's not Rambo. Free to play. Yeah, because yeah, of all this... Free to play, but pay to win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's what, that's what, But the thing is, that's what happens in the, um, the Asian markets, right? It might be free to play. Might be. But you pay to win. Well, that's more the Korean side than the Japanese side. Yeah. Korean and uh, Russian, but they accept the rubber of it. Never ending quest for cosmetics. Oh, I've heard of Fantasy Star. I've never played any of it, but I've heard of it. DSO2. Maybe Bam hasn't. Those of you who have played Fantasy Star know that this Why game has influenced many of the most popular games. Because you today. messed up, bro. So, <laughs> welcome Sega back to our stage. And fantasy all the phones are out. Getting. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. All the phones are out. Sega! Oh. As we said, our Why would you be there if you couldn't look at the screen? Bring you the world's yeah. best games. Meeting with developers, playing their games. Is that Jolly in the purple hoodie sitting in the. That's what Jolly's watching. Right? These are the best parts of Nah, that dude's got no red the hair. With Jolly. No, he didn't. He ain't got no red beard. No, but Jolly, you see, he's a man of mystery. Game. He shaved himself they bald, you see. Their <laughs> to bring their uh, Jolly thinks Fable's gonna end the show. Yeah, if they're doing it. Yeah, no, that uh, makes sense. 150 million PC players. I'm still shocked, like, Cyberpunk was, like, the second thing in. That was I'm happy to crazy that they got that out of the way so with quick. The legendary team at Smilegate. Their approach to game design demonstrates sheer creative boldness. Next year... You'll discover the newest entry in this landmark franchise. Ooh, there's a present on one CD Projekt Red. For the very first time, only on <laughs> Xbox. This is Crossfire X. Ooh, Ooh, that Keanu game. picture, though. Mm, yummy. Sorry, I was looking at uh, CD Projekt Red. What are we looking at? Crossfire. Three. Call of Duty Crossfire. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you lost. <laughs> <laughs> Not from Microsoft. <laughs> Halo the you don't people. know. They might have bought Infinity Ward in the making. <laughs> you never know. So don't joke. Right, don't joke. Why are people saying Kingdom Hearts? Because they're being trolls and joking and having fun. It's not how glass breaks, but okay. Yeah, most of the thing was that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. How do you know that? Have you ever seen glass break in slow motion? <laughs> yes. I watched the slow mo guys on YouTube. I know how glass breaks. <laughs> 
Jack, have you never been drunk enough? For what? Do things just slow down and just go... To fall through glass. <laughs> Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, wait, um, um... Why am I thinking, um... Oh, come on, people are being full-on racist now in the chats. On the Elixir. Not ours, the official one. Yeah, Jolly says Keanu's a busy man with a bedtime, so that must be why I was first. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, no, that's true, actually. This reminds me of, um, of SOCOM. I thought Crossfire was a car game. World premiere. Oh, God, this world premiere stuff. I know, do we have to have that every time? Like... I know, God. This should section all. This is world premiere, and then crack on from there. Bandai Namco, okay. No, not No Man's Sky. This, I won't lie, is incredibly boring, boys. Tails? Well, it's your job to make it entertaining. <laughs> I have something for you with that. I just want to know if this is, uh... Well, no, this probably isn't the uh, George R. R. Martin one. No. Well, that is, uh... <laughs> Elden Rings what is supposed to be shown here. He just pulled a sword right out of her. Yeah, didn't you ever do that? Isn't that how you may become king in England? People seem to like it. <laughs> yeah, tails. <laughs> Twenty twenty. The worst part is it's probably a good game. The mechanics tend to irritate me. A lot of filler. <laughs> So take it away. Um, yeah, Cyberpunk. Um, <laughs> yeah, Cyberpunk. Two K. Yep. Yeah, this is the Borderlands. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. One of them. My name is Lilith, and I need you. There we go. Okay, now I'm happy again. The takeaway from this is if you want to make Bam happy. Uh, bank on his nostalgism and uh, give him something with cars and destruction. <laughs> oh, dude, it's, it's just so good. Oh, on PlayStation right now, okay, there's um the there's a, a bundle you can download. I'm just gonna download that now. I'm handsome actually gonna play the game. What the, the handsome collection? Yeah. Yeah, I'm downloading. I'm playing. Cool. I'm playing it. I'm gonna. I'm playing it. I'm gonna play it. <laughs> well, we can time it so we play it together. Well, crack on, join, drag, uh, G, do it now. now. Uh, tough. Let's go now. I want to play it. Dude, oh, we God. have what half an hour more of this and two more. Dude, seriously, half an hour more. Dude, this is an incredible. Like, like the gentleman said, the sixty show. games. There's, 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 no. a, there's, a, there's a lot of the, well, two games, maybe three. They've come out that are good. Gears of War, Listen and and and, and um, Cyberpunk 2077, right? You forgot Lego Forza. No, 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 Lego Forza. Lego gimmick. Forza. Gimmick. No, I played. Ha! Jolly says. Jolly says to uh, download the HD textures for Borderlands. Are oh, they that good, Jolly? Yeah, I'll do that. Xbox now would be. I don't have a 4K TV. Does that really matter? And they're gonna announce Scarlet in a moment, so, you know. Oh. Uh, uh, Does that mean March? Yeah, no. The Americans put their things backwards. This is why I'm asking Drek to translate away. That's what I've got! Commander Lulu. Hmm. 
That was already revealed, but fair enough. Nah. Yeah, play today, yeah, and, or a week ago on the PlayStation. Ten days ago. Well, I'm not. I'm just keen because I've played the games already, but now nah, seeing that, I'm gonna yeah. play the games again. I'm gonna play the prequel and I'm gonna go for two. <laughs> I never finished the pre sequel. I don't even know how far I got through it. I started to kind of get bored of it. I still uh, drag copy and started playing it and streaming it. <laughs> then I spilled tea on my computer. Oops. Here you go. Ah, here we go. This is the one with Martin. Play a game where you will die repeatedly and then become a new character. Yeah. <laughs> oh look, what you thought was the protagonist is dead. The hell? I doubt you could even imagine. I can imagine what. That which commanded the stars. I expect this to be bad. I'll be honest. I expect Elden Rings to be bad. The Elden Ring. Oh, Elden Ring. Shattered by someone or something. It's just. I don't know if I ex. Don't try too hard. I don't see it. Well, I just. It's hard. I don't know if it's a game I'll play because I haven't played the From Software stuff at all. Just the style of game isn't something I typically play. Apologies, I take a take a leak. Where did you take it? Did you leave it there? <laughs> yep. I took it there, left it there. Okay, good. Yeah, Bamsus, now with more leaks. George Railroad Martin. <laughs> uh, Jolly, you gotta join us for one of these one of these days. Yeah, the next one in half an hour. No, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Bethesda, yeah. No, no. Actually, maybe we should watch it for comical relief. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, this has put me to sleep. I tell you what, this isn't... Uh, Come on. Sh they should have left Cyberpunk 2077 to the last. No, that's going to be Scarlet. The end is going to be Scarlet. Please welcome back, Bill Spencer. See, Phil Spencer's wearing trainers, or, or tackies, or, uh... To one person double, double standard. Thousands of tacky. Xbox games are in development for you right now. Just today, we showed you 60 games. Wow, did we get through all 60 already? Experiencing an unmatched expansion God. of creativity on Xbox. Oh, poor Bam. Gaming for you means connecting all of these creators to all of you. And to imagine in October Last we have to do these live and <laughs> we announced our ambition to empower everyone everywhere to play by bringing Xbox to the cloud. We will do this in two ways through Project X Cloud mm. and through console streaming. Two months ago, we connected all Xbox developers to Project X Cloud. Today, we invite those of you here at E3 <laughs> for our first public yeah. hands-on of Project 60 X minutes, but less than six minutes of gameplay. Yeah. To experience the freedom to play right here at the show. And how much of it's going to look the same two ways to <laughs> when it finally releases. There's a new platform feature, console streaming. It turns your Xbox One into your own personal and free xCloud server. <laughs> Whether you're using a console in our data center or your console your mic? at home, this uh, October, I've got a shaky leg. You'll be able to use our hybrid gaming cloud to arm. play your games wherever you go. <laughs> nice no, idea, but will they have the infrastructure to back it up, or is this just a gimmick? You decide. Oh no, you can play your Gears of Halo. So let's talk about cell phones and about. Yeah, but I think really this still comes down to internet connectivity speed and data caps. Console is vital and central to our experience. We heard you. A console should be designed See? and built and optimized for one thing and one <laughs> they got remote play. <laughs> gaming. This is the same guy who a decade ago said the opposite. The world's most powerful console, Xbox One X. 
and innovated its groundbreaking processor and the Elite controller. The same team that engineered the world-class compatibility of today's Xbox One consoles. The same team that set the bar for live gaming services with Xbox Live. This same team... Let's face it, that bar set wasn't set very high, so don't brag about it, man. ...to create the future of gaming for you. I don't know, man. If we set a bar on anything, we'd be bragging about it. <laughs> yeah, true. We haven't set any bars yet. <laughs> It's not just mobile. It's really all of the above. Why is her neck a different color than her face? We're investing makeup, bro. Technology oh, throughout the right. game stack. Okay. The games you want, yeah. the people you want. No, the the, his you want. same. And okay, us, she's not too bad. That starts with our next generation console. That's funny. A uh, buddy of mine at work and I the other day were having a beard. That sounds right. <laughs> a buddy of mine and I. Yeah, the dude's beard. It's like two tone people to get into the game to stay in the game well, the middle minds why the middle and developers are incredibly yeah. excited about is reducing load times i'm an rpg gamer and so like loading screens <laughs> tripped over the last bar <laughs> because you know that yeah but we didn't set it <laughs> tripping over it <laughs> Tri trip <laughs> tripping over is uh, different than setting the bar though <laughs> that's nothing to brag about <laughs> next generation console is our custom design processor leveraging the latest zen 2 and navi technology See. from our partners at amd how long did it take to grow that beard that's what i want to know this is four well times if you think about it it's like a centimeter a month we're leveraging high if bandwidth that? gddr6 Guys, to ensure that we're getting the best what they're possible. saying they're it's talking about how awesome the next one would be because of zen 2 and navi before. the exact like, same hardware that before. Frame PlayStation rates up to 120 frames per second. 8K capability, variable refresh rate. Next gen ray tracing. Too long. It's yeah, time. no kidding. This is hardware accelerated for the first time ever. What I'm personally most excited about is the SSD. SSD. It's exact same hardware. We created a new generation of SSD. Yeah, but they're announcing it first, so they created it and Sony copied it. <laughs> Xbox, the they have to in order to really beat them. Gives they did it the last time. They're going to do it again. Now we can take all of that power. And that's the thing. Sony's announced the everything they're saying. Yeah, but they can change. They changed, change. they the they changed on the on the RAM. So that they and a few other things. They'll change it. They have to be at Xbox. Well, that's why they didn't go into too many details. Nor will Xbox. So Sony come out and say, "Oh, we're doing this better than the Xbox." This is the most immersive console experience ever. But. It's still Nabi, really probably uh, Nabi 20 or 30. To build the it's game still Zen 2. We have hundreds of people That's saying annoys me. As well as our third party studios. Nothing, nothing against what they're saying, but that saying annoys me. This is the most experience ever. Because every time they announce something, something new, they say the same thing. And it's true. It's not that it isn't true, but it's like... Come on. Same shit, different day. Yeah. I, I love it when the, uh, the game developers talk about this and the say, oh, the PlayStation 5 is the best console ever. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Delivering four yeah, it damn well better be more immersive and better than the last one. Well, it's as good as the PlayStation 2. <laughs> well, I hope by next year 8K TVs will be um, cheaper. Uh, 8K, blah. Are we actually even... I mean, I haven't seen 8K, but is it really... So much visually different to the human eye between 4 and 8K. That's my point. There was a 4K and there was an 8K next to each other and no word of a lie. I could not tell the difference. Exactly. The human eye is only capable of seeing so much. I lie there. The difference I could tell was the fact that price tags were absorbed. Oh, well, yeah. Which one was the 8K one? The one that cost over a thousand pounds. The most powerful and highest performing console Duh. we've ever designed. Built for creators to unleash their boldest creative visions and optimized for players to enjoy the ultimate gaming experience on a console anywhere. Immersive experiences begin at the very heart of the console, at the silicon level itself. Together with our partners at AMD, we have engineered and custom designed a state of the art end of next year yeah for project scarlet yeah. and that's why we're getting cyberpunk on current gen consoles in 2020 i'm glad they stretched out the lifespan of the console this long and performance god i can't believe i've had my playstation for this long project scarlet still feels new to me when we talk about freedom to play 
when we talk about Xbox... I gotta finish up uh, Horizon Zero Dawn and God of War 4 so I can sell mine. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a good point. I better finish my game. <laughs> ...is the foundation of our future in console and the formation... This is just a lot of blah blah. Yeah, you're right, Jolly. This conference could have been about a half hour shorter. Xbox yeah, at least. Years ago ...with a game reviewers called the definitive reason to own an Xbox. Well, because humanity was and is worth saving next holiday, we will launch Project Scarlet with Halo. With Halo. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Okay, sure. Yeah. Well, I just want to know when I get the Master Chief Collection on my PC, though. Like the actual final release, not a beta. Morning. Come on. That's what happens when you sleep on the job, dude. Did you just put a floppy disk in there? See, Drac, you say that BAM is predictable and easy to make happen. You just want to play as that other guy and as uh, that Halo guy, then you'll have it. No, if you were saying I was predictable because I like to play shooters, then yeah, but, um... I mean, that's the type of game I enjoy. I like RPGs and I like shooters. I occasionally break it up with an RTS or a platformer. So basically you run around with rocket pro propelled things and shoot us? Mm, not necessarily rocket propelled, but yeah. Daddy's listening. RPGs. Can you say hi? That's Bam and his helicopters. How big are you? Oh, dude. How big you are? Are you so big? And can you sing? Good singing. How about I miss you? That face is freaky. And I love you. I love you. I love you, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. And I can't wait to see you. Can you say see you? Poor Joey. Good then. Bye bye. Bye That dude's been there a while. Poor guy. And he's about to freeze to death. Mm. Oh. So is that the Halo guy or is that another one? That's not the Halo guy. Yeah, we've never seen the face of Master Chief, to my knowledge. <laughs> Creep. Well, we might in the live action series that I think they're doing. That's not Iron Man. <laughs> I tell you what, I tell you what. That's funny. <laughs> This is UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? Yeah, that's not Master Chief. This is UNS. Oops. Yeah, uh, 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 Everything oh. I ever read people say about Halo is that yay shooter. No, 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 no. There's a good story behind Halo. Like no, dude, seriously. One, two, three-ish. Auto shut down. Triggering survival mode. Based on it being Bungie, and I've seen what they oh, did with Destiny. Right. I don't believe you. No, true, true. Okay. But you gotta play him. If you can hear the me. Best uh, one is Reach. The I best one ready. is Reach. Please don't die. Please. So, the Halo dude is a robot. No. He's a genetically modified yes. human. We're going home. But he just put electricity in him. His suit. Oh, welcome back, G. Said that the power cells on his suit were fried. I rerouted what needle power I had into your suit. See? Hmm. Looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. I know I saw something in here to check oh, the the batteries over there. Good. Put it back in. Put it back in. 
Oh, dude, I might have to get an Xbox just to play these games, man. Oh, no. PC! No, bro. Sod PC. PC is for weebs. What? There's something you need to see, Chief. I haven't heard him talk yet. I wonder if they have the same voice actor. No, perhaps he just went with no voice actor. Cheaper. Uh, I hope they don't do that. Yeah, I'm so glad Cortana's back, man. Oh, yes. We lost. Oh, they spaghettified the planet. No, it's a halo. No, it isn't. I'm team for here, Ace. Ace. No, 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 no. Not then. Not again. We need to run. No. We need to fight. There we go. Yes! Same guy. Get ready. A great soundtrack as well. Okay, I'm happy now. <laughs> oh. Hints of alien in there. I chose you because you were special. I knew we would be perfect together. And I was right. Tip of my nose is itchy. Very annoying. I get that from time to time. Is it showing this again? I'm just catching up. Yeah, recap. So we gotta be reached. Yeah, we're reaching the end of this. I'm done. I'm done. I don't wanna see anymore. I'm done. I'm not sure they mentioned 60 titles, did they? Uh, they mentioned, they said they hit 60 before they announced Halo, which I don't know if that's true or not. I wasn't counting. I think it's more case they just showed some. Oh, yeah, there was definitely that uh, trailer partway through the middle where it was just like game after game after game after game after game. Oh, and then Screen of 2. No, that's Monday. The first time, 1.30. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pam was not kidding, man. <laughs> he just freaking disappeared. <laughs> oh, I couldn't handle it anymore. Is that three hours until the next one? Uh, let me look at my calendar here. So I got uh, 5.30 on the West Coast is Bethesda, so yeah, three hours. So I'll be back in three hours. We'll see if G's yeah. still awake. Like Sea of Thieves, they were just uh, shown, but it wasn't mentioned. Yeah. Xbox, jump in. Oh, no, it's... No. <laughs> Jolly says, well, at least Sony will be able to save E3. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh... I mean, there's a lot of games... It doesn't have to be shooters and first persons. Oh no. That should be interesting. I'm sorry. No, I, I definitely like the variety. I, like they had some platformers and they had some indie stuff, so Yeah. So no, overall I would say there was plenty of games that looked good. Some of the indies that looked interesting, huh? There were some of the big games that looked meh. Yeah. So uh Forza Lego. That yeah. That'll be fun. Mm -hmm. I still need to pick up Forza. Now that I finally got my Windows Store fixed and I can actually download the games I bought. Whoa. <laughs> Didn't Microsoft give up on the Windows You know, I, I'm starting to wonder if they have with the fact that they're bringing a lot of stuff to Steam, but uh, uh, I kind of hope they do because their store, man, I've never run into problems with any other storefront. I can go through name after name after name with all the different storefronts I have installed on my PC. Never run into problems where I bought a game and I couldn't download it. But the Microsoft Store, I've had that problem with. I ended up having to rebuild my entire PC, wipe it, and reload Windows in order to get it to work. You should never have to do that.
So just checking one of the trailers that they put out. Legend of Right. Yeah, Jolly. Uh, Jolly says it was pretty terrible for him, but uh, I gotta say, oh, Battle Toads. Other than Halo, eh, I guess Gears kind of, but not so much, and uh, definitely Cyberpunk. Like that, those were the highlights for me. <laughs> And Cyberpunk was so early. I still can't believe that they left that. Like, I, I could, at the very least, they should have put Cyberpunk before Scarlet and Halo, like, at the end. But maybe you're right, man. Keanu in his bedtime. <laughs> Spirit Fair, I think, what I was okay with. Yeah. Ori, too, looked cute. I, I like the art style of that a lot. Jedi Fallen Soldier? Falling over? Well, we saw that yesterday at E3 EA Play. Um, so, I mean, it wasn't like it was anything new today. Uh, yeah, which I couldn't give a sh about. Hey, yeah. yesterday, you actually said you were interested in the Jedi game. You said it made it more interesting that it was a single-player story. Yeah, it's more interesting, but... Uh, no, I'll play it, definitely. But, again, Star Wars just doesn't do a, sh a thing for me. <laughs> Doesn't. Bam looks like he's on his way to bed. Yeah. Yeah. Three hours to the next one. Four games. Cyberpunk. Four. Four. Halo. Um. Here we go. No, Force of Lego, Cyberpunk, Spirit Fair. Oh, yeah. gears. There we go. There's a third one there. I forgot what one was. <laughs> that's how memorable it was for me. I can barely remember most of it. Well, that's not... doing like, Look, we're going to talk about 30 new games. Yeah, I know. Well, 60. Holy shit. Well, they, they, they didn't talk about 60 games. Right. Yeah. So. Except a lot of them they showed without even saying the title. So I'm still curious what uh, how the Bethesda thing is going to go. Uh, coming up well, in a few hours. Like I said, comic relief, anyone? Yeah, because, yeah. wow. <laughs> I mean, they don't have anything new to bring to the table. We're not going to hear anything about Elder, Elder Scrolls. I don't think we're going to hear anything about uh, Starfield. So it's okay. mostly just going to be like DLC and updates and... Yep. Uh, and new and platforms for Squirming. I might have to invest in both consoles because I do want to play me some Halo 5. Oh, d desperate. You have uh, a Windows no. PC. No. No. If you have to be that much of a no. dweeb, no, no, you no. can play the game on your PC with an Xbox no. controller. No, 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 no. <laughs> console peasant. I will remain a console peasant. Bam. I'm not an elitist royal like yourself. Well, uh, unless they have crossplay, we're not going to be able to play together then. That's not my no. fault. That is your fault. You have a Windows PC. Neither one of us has an Xbox two or whatever they're gonna call it well that's a good point what are they gonna call it now xbox two well they're saying scarlet but i think that's still yeah i think x squared yeah so but drag no, here's no, a simple one not xbox two. i know your pc player says you can build pcs build up better and cheaper than consoles i don't know anyone that said that oh uh, I, I have i've that come across quite a few i'm just trying to save you money bro you yeah. can build yourself a pc with cheaper than that yeah, it'll be better yeah. and cheaper i've never said they were cheaper <laughs> when the ps4 come, came out and i said i'm getting a ps4 people were telling me they could build a pc with a gtx 1080 cheaper no, they couldn't. A, a the ten, card yeah, <laughs> the ten, yeah, the 10.80 card would have been more than the freaking PS4. Yeah. yeah, but here, here it is. There will be ray tracing in the PS5 and in Scarlet Xbox, whatever they're gonna call it. Yeah, you can't compete with that at a five hundred dollar price range. Yeah, it's gonna you know, be five hundred. It's not gonna be four hundred next time. Jolly just made a good. I, I don't know if you guys have read that, but I agree. With the previous comment was they just had a chart quite literally take a massive dump on Sony's doorstep they just phoned it in hmm. yeah I mean I don't think there were any major shocks or surprises no other than Keanu showing up which I didn't expect that was a surprise to me no, we knew that again you knew that I didn't well, know anything about it I didn't and that was nice but I yeah. saw Keanu in 2077 like 
Boom. I immediately thought of Johnny Mnemonic. I'm like, hot damn. <laughs> That's a good film. Oh, it is. Good. Yeah. Yeah, it absolutely Very is. Cool. The dolphin was a bit... But, you know, I understand why they read used the it. Book. Back in the read 70s. the book about that dolphin. Uh, it's back in the 70s. They used dolphins for mining. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> but but read, read the book on Johnny Mnemonic and see what dolphin is like. It's every drug you can imagine. It is strung out all the time. Probably needs to be. Yeah. Poor thing. It's, um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to watch that movie again. Ah, I wouldn't mind watching it yes. again. Actually, I'm going to go look, see if, if Netflix has got it on. They probably don't, but no harm. Well, on that oh, note. YouTube's got a version of it out there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So I think Mass Effect until, yeah, for three hours. Fuck, if I'm awake. <laughs> Well, on that note, any final thoughts uh, beyond the things we've already said on the Xbox conference? <laughs> Not really. All right. It was an Xbox conference. They're boring. I, I, hate, I hate to be the Debbie Downer, but seriously, that that could have been so much better. It, the, it had one step up over last year's and previous years, I'm going to say, actually. Uh, well, for once, the, the do the whole... Bigger? No. All the other years, they've been uh, really, oh, look, this is exclusive. This is exclusive. This time they talked about being inclusive and gaming is for everybody. <laughs> no. This year that's been the exact opposite. Is yeah, we have this. It's exclusive to us. <laughs> this time, <laughs> this time it wasn't. This is exclusive. This is exclusive. It was world premiere. World premiere. World premiere. Oh. <laughs> I don't need to see that every single twenty seconds. Uh, yeah. So, all right. Well, thanks to those who have joined us, and for those who catch us later. Ciao, Joe. Adios.